Hello everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for another exciting episode of Let's Play Animal Crossing City Folk for a year. Right now in Sexville, it's 9.07 p.m. on July 5th, 2012, and we're about to get started, and I'm Jake. Now guys, yesterday was the 4th of July, and I honestly said something stupid in saying that I wonder why there's no... <coughs> why there's no fireworks. I, I didn't mean it in the way where it was like I expected there to be fireworks, like why wouldn't they put fireworks? You know, this game this game's not American enough. But my whole point was more in the fact that why would they include like Easter, a holiday like Easter, a Christian holiday, or you know, Catholic holiday, you know, in a game where, I guess it's a little different because, like, but like, I just, uh, God. Christian isn't the world, like Christianity and Catholic Catholicism aren't the world's religion, so I don't really see why they'd include something like Easter when that's, you know, that really only pertains to one group of people. It's a large group, granted, but still. And, you know, not necessarily everyone celebrates Halloween, not necessarily everyone celebrates Christmas. You know, it's. I, I just figured since they uh, put a holiday that not necessarily everyone celebrates in the game, it wouldn't be that hard to have one special day of fireworks. You know, and I know every country has their own, like, Independence Day. Or, I guess not all countries, because some countries are still not in, are not independent. Well, not, actually, no. Pretty much every, very few countries aren't sovereign, so it's kind of hard to even say that. But, for the most part, the world's pretty sovereign. Um, and if you don't know what I mean by sovereign, look it up. Uh, obviously some of you won't know what that is because I, I don't expect everyone to know what that is, but I expect most people to know what that is. And you kind of should know, but whatever. Um, so today was a pretty awesome day for two big, huge reasons. Well, third reason, the third reason is pretty much a constant, and that's that I got to spend the day with Lauren. I almost always get to spend the day with Lauren. But today, Lauren and I went around and, you know, did stuff, and we had a lot of fun. Uh, we went and saw the new Spider-Man movie, which was amazing. It was really, really good. And I, to be honest, I personally liked it more than the um, original Spider-Man movies, the original trilogy. I liked it a lot more. Now, that's just my opinion, and I considered doing a review on it, just like a really quick, just right in front of the camera, talking about it review, but I don't really want to. I'd rather do my top 10 Pokemon. Like, after I do the top 10 Pokemon video, I'm just going to start free, blo free reviewing every, like, everything I watch, everything I play, I'm going to just start reviewing like crazy. Because I like talking about stuff. But the new Spider-Man movie was so good. It was well acted, well directed, beautifully shot. Beautifully shot. It looked so good. I loved it. I really did. I loved the way it looked. I guarantee it. Like, it, like there were so many great cinematic shots. And Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man, as Peter Parker, was so good. In my opinion, way better than Tobey Maguire. And, um, why do I keep forgetting her name? I would never forget it before, and now I just can't remember it. The girl who was in freaking, what is her name? The girl that played Gwen Stacy, who was in Superbad and Zombieland. I forgot it earlier, and Lauren reminded me. Now I can't remember her name. Fuck. It's gonna drive me insane. Anyway, she was really, really good. And just the whole movie was really impressive. I liked it a lot. Um... I'm really excited they did Clue at a sequel, so I'm happy for that. And a lot of people have been talking about, oh, I wonder if they'll combine that, if they'll end up combining that with the Avengers, because those of you who don't know, eventually Spider-Man does help the Avengers, um, and that would be amazing. That cast would be so awesome to all see together, but, you know, it's very unlikely, but at the same time, it is possible, so I'm hoping it happens, but I'm not, like, holding my breath about it. But I would be pretty stoked. But yeah, it was really good, and I, I totally recommend it. I liked it so much more than the original. I know I've said that like 20 times, but it's the truth. Um, and the other awesome thing that happened today was I picked up the Rhythm Final Fantasy, the new Final Fantasy music um, game, rhythm game, and it is really, really good. Um, I liked it a lot. I'm very impressed. I wasn't sure what to expect. I knew it would be fun, but it's kind of addicting. Like, I've been playing it and I just can't really stop. And I know you, some of you are gonna be mad about this because oh, you're already doing so many projects, oh, you never finish anything. You know, since I just started Spelunky. Um, but I'm probably gonna be, re well, no, not probably. I'm recording Final, the Rhythm Final Fantasy and uh, I'm gonna post all my videos this weekend, starting tomorrow. I'll probably post three videos. 
Um, and I know I just <clears throat> did that last weekend with The Walking Dead Episode 2. But I kind of like doing that. I like being able to post a whole series in a weekend. So I'm going to just put up a video of every game. Since every game has like four songs, I'm just going to do that where I upload four songs. Like the whole game. Like Final Fantasy 1, Final Fantasy 1 through... 13. Or is, does it go up to 14? No, I think it only goes up to 13. Um, because no one likes 14. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I already recorded 1, 2, and 3. Um, and I'm probably gonna do 4, 5, and 6 tonight when I'm done with this. Um, so yeah. Apatoskull! God, you have everything! It's kind of annoying. Um, I thought I had a bug. Yeah, this fruit bug. Fruit beetle. Let's just see what he has to say about this. Insects are the barbaries. Fruit beetles resemble short, squat versions of the dynastid beetle. But aren't dy dynastid beetles a type of fruit beetle? I suppose it's all a popularity contest in the end. Oh, that was lame. I, I was kind of disappointed by lame ones. But I guess that wasn't so bad. I learned something about the dynastid beetle that it's a fruit beetle. So, eh, whatever. But yeah, I'm actually recording. The interesting thing about these videos I'm recording, I used to try and use my camera, my T2i, a really nice camera, to record these uh, videos. But the problem is it's got so much sharp focus that it almost focuses too much. Like I get the lines and there's no way to avoid that because it's just focusing so deep. It's focusing on the screen and not what's on the screen. So I'm actually recording these videos with my iPhone. Um, since the iPhone is capable of recording HD video, I just figured, why not? It actually looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm just trying to decide if I want to do keep the commentary I'm using or use post commentary. Because um, I, I do end up talking. I, I talk a bit. But normally with the music, I just don't say anything because I don't want to interrupt the music and I'm normally focusing. And the way I'm doing it also is I'm just doing all the, the beginning mode. Like just the normal. Like when you put the game on, this is the mode you get. And then I'm going to try and do the challenge mode another time. Sure. You ever tried to play an oboe underwater, man? It ain't easy. That one was silly. Well, that was a good dive, though. Nice. Good form. So, yeah, that is what I'm going to be busy doing tonight. Um, also, I'm probably going to try and pick up the Amazing Spider-Man game tomorrow because I keep hearing really good things about it, and I heard that the combat system is very similar to that of Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, and I love that combat system, so that combat system combined with like Spider-Man's web slide, web swinging, that's like, that sounds like an amazing game. And I might do a review on it, I don't know, but I'm not going to put up any videos for it just because it doesn't really feel necessary, unless I decide to put up like a two hour gameplay video, or if I realize that it's actually a pretty short game. But you know, I just, I know a lot of people get mad at me for posting so much stuff, but I like posting a lot of stuff. That's just, that's what I do. Like, I like, I play a lot of video games, and I like recording video games. It's really hard for me at this point to just play a game without recording it. I feel, like, anytime I'm playing a game, I really feel like I have to record it. It's going to be a pretty big struggle next week when Quantum uh, Conundrum comes out, but I may end up recording that anyways, because I heard the game can be beaten about four hours, so... But I think with that, I might just record it and then post it, like, after the whole thing is recorded so that I can just post it pretty quick. So that's... Oh, Beetle. Beetle, come here. Beetle. Hudoah! I think they already have this. Dynastid Beetle. Oh, that's what he was just talking about. Interesting. Well, sweet. I'm happy to see that happen. So yeah, hopefully you guys aren't too mad about me posting the videos, but I really enjoy the game a lot, and I would really like to share it with you guys. And I know I said I might just do a review of it, and I'd like to, but at the same time, I just feel like a review of that game would... Ooh, another beetle. There's a lot of beetles. This is a rainbow stag. I've already caught this, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but anyways, guys, now that you know everything that was going on today, I think I'm going to get going because I have a lot of recording to do and I have to get up early in the morning for work. So be on the lookout for those Final Fantasy videos. I do have a lot more Spelunky to post, but I'm not going to start posting more of it up until I finish... God damn it. Up until I finish the rhythm. So anyways, guys, I'm Red Panda Gamer. Please like this video, pay for this video, comment this video, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, do forget to share your love. I'm Red Panda Gamer. Thank you guys all so much for watching and for all of your support. I am, by the way, working on my top 10 Pokemon video. I've actually already written the script out for it, and I'll probably record it tomorrow and try to post it on Saturday. But there's probably going to be a lot of editing involved, so I couldn't really say. 
right off the head, top of my head. But it should be ready soon. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.